It goes without saying that modern era scramblers have very few things in common with the dual purpose models of the past. However, this does not mean that the fans of the class cannot still enjoy the iconic looks of the newcomers and benefit from the powerful engines and advanced riding aids of today. Let's dive into the lineup of the all new 2020 Scrambler motorcycles that are here to rumble through the streets and beat the dirt trails with style. Make sure to subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell to always stay informed about the new video releases. Enjoy the ride! Ducati Scrambler 1100 Pro and Sport Pro Undeniably, Ducati was the key company in fueling this modern era Scrambler craze that started in 2015. Nowadays, this line of bikes stands somewhat apart in their lineup and is steadily expanding to include new and updated models each year. 2020 welcomes the arrival of the revised flagships Scrambler 1100 Pro and Scrambler 1100 Pro Sport, with the new graphics, new exhaust and seat trims, shorter rear fender and low plate holder. These two represent the so-called new era of Scramblers, sporting the iconic looks and the most comprehensive specifications package that you could have dreamed of. The 1079cc L-Twin Desmodromic makes 84 horsepower and 64 pound-feet of generous torque right from the bottom of the rev range. The 1100 models benefit from Ducati traction control, Bosch cornering ABS, three riding modes, Brembo braking system and innovative lighting. Plus, the Sport Pro model is further enhanced with Allen suspension, low slung handlebars and Cafe Racer rear view mirrors. CCM Spitfire Stealth Series CCM bikes already do not suffer from the lack of exclusivity, but the Foggy, Bobber and Six models are still released in the special Stealth Series. They get blacked out bodies, bronze chrome powder coated frames, forks and detail stripes to accent the gloss black paint chops. The seats of these three are now black Alcantara with yellow stitching, and the tires take the dark eyes as well. Each CCM bike is hand built to order and gets equipped with a premium package of components. A liquid-cooled 600cc single-cylinder four-stroke with 55 through 62 horsepower yield, Morsaki forks, Rambo brakes, and beautiful spoked or machined wheels. The new Spitfire Trio is a strictly limited edition, but luckily the price difference with the standard models is unnoticeable. The Stealth Bopper and Stealth 6 cost a 500 pounds premium, while the Stealth Foggy keeps its original price tag of £12,000. Indian FTR Rally The world has welcomed the FTR 1200 Scrambler just a year ago, but this model is already getting a line expansion with the introduction of a more comfort-focused rally version. The riding position is now more upright due to the 2 inches higher mounted Pro Taper aluminum handlebar, which aids both on and off-road handling. The off-road prowess is highlighted with the new wire spoke wheels and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires. The new Indian gets a brown aviator seat and a cafe racer style fly screen, which is likely just a fashion nod rather than an attempt to improve wind protection. The rest of the components list is shared with the FTR 1200 predecessor, namely the bike keeps the 123 horsepower engine with 1203cc displacement, while the suspension is still represented by a non-adjustable 43mm inverted cartridge fork and a shock that is adjustable for spring preloads and rebound damping. CF Moto 700 CLX The Chinese manufacturer CF Moto celebrated its 30th anniversary in 2020 and commemorated the state with the first modern retro-style bike, 700 CLX. Even though CF Moto has close ties with the Austrian design studio Kiska, this model is claimed to be developed in Italy. The bike is brought to life by a newly designed 700cc water-cooled parallel twin with 75 horsepower, electronically controlled throttle and sliding clutch. It gets adjustable suspension, ABS, a single readily mounted 4-piston J. Juan caliper up front and an LED headlight. Additionally, the line is further differentiated by three models. Sport, Adventure and Heritage. The design peculiarities are as follows. The Sport has bar and mirrors, lower bars, solo seat and mag wheels. The Heritage gets more complicated mag wheel design, round mirrors and white bars. While Adventure hints at its off-roady nature with a screen, knobby tires and wire wheels. 
Triumph Scrambler 1200. The latest 1200XC and XE are the most performance advanced Triumph Scramblers to date, and they set a high benchmark in terms of capability and style for all the other models out there. In addition to refined looks and off-road capable bodies, the bikes come with a new generation drivetrain. The 1200cc Bonville liquid-cooled 8-valve parallel twin and a 6-speed gearbox, delivering 88 horsepower and 81 pound-feet of torque. Both motorcycles get a new twin spring rear suspension from Allens with fully adjustable preloads, compression and rebound. Plus up front, there is a long travel show of fork. The list goes on with the high-spec Brembo brake calipers, LED lights, ABS and traction control. Finally, the Triumph connectivity system includes a TFT screen with the world's first integrated GoPro control, turn-by-turn -turn navigation and music operation. Pursang Scrambler The Spanish brand Baltico was active in the second part of the 20th century, and their flagship model was the 250cc Pursang, which participated in all kinds of off-road competitions back in the day. The company met its demise in 1983, but its legacy is destined to be resurrected in the form of electric motorcycles. The mastermind behind the Pursang project is the transport designer from Barcelona, Jim Palau Reeves, who came up with two bike designs, E-Track and E-Street, scheduled for the market release in 2020. The former will be a 60 units limited edition model with carbon fiber body panels, a 15 horsepower Bosch motor, and a 7.2 kWh battery good for 87 miles of range. The E-Street in turn is marketed as a mass-produced model with humbler specifications but removable battery to offset the long charging times and add convenience. Your feedback matters, so make sure to mention your topic from the lineup in the comment section once you have finished watching the entire episode. Leave a like and let's get back to it! Mesh X-Ride Classic 650 The French mesh motorcycles has been known predominantly for their affordable air-cooled 125 and 250 singles. So, with this brightly fashioned single cylinder, the company makes an ambitious move to enter a larger market segment. The bike 650cc four-stroke single cylinder delivers the peak output of 40 horsepower and 33 pound-feet of torque. The power is converted through a five-speed gearbox while the electric start and ABS are standard. Apart from the engine, the key selling point about the X-Ride Classic is its old-school Scrambler-style bodywork, inspired by Honda's early XR650 and late 70s Yamahas. The bike's exterior boasts a red and white livery, blacked-out engine, and super-cool gold anodized trims. Finally, the X-Ride Classic 650 is the first model by the brand to feature a rear monoshock and a beefy box section swing arm. Fantic Motors Caballero Scramblers The Italian-based Fantic Motors launched their first Caballero Scrambler in far 1969 at the International Bicycle and Motorcycle Exhibition in Milan. Now, half a century later, the manufacturer returns to large European market with an all-new Scramblers lineup, which are full of tech and off-road potency but retain the DNA of your grandpa's old two-wheeler. Coming in three engine sizes, 125, 250 and 500cc, the Caballeros get a four-stroke liquid-cooled single cylinder. The entry-level 125cc engine produces 28 horsepower and 16 pound-feet of torque, while the largest 449cc makes 43 ponies and 32 pound-feet of torque. The entire lineup sits on the same tubular steel frame with a non-adjustable 41mm inverted fork, a linkage-assisted monoshock, and continental two-channel ABS. All three scramblers boast Fantex iconic exterior with a red tank, black-coated engine and chassis, and silver bodywork accents. Ducati Scrambler Icon Dark We're used to the bright orange and yellow colors of Scrambler icons, but this time it arrives in the strict blacked-out guise, with matte black livery, machine-finished aluminum belt covers, and interchangeable aluminum side panels. The newcomer keeps its original trellis frame, teardrop tank, and a single-piece saddle. At its heart is an 803cc L-twin Desmodromic with 73 horsepower and 49 pound-feet, which has already proven itself in the wild. 
The model is wearing premium components, like LED headlights with glass lens and DRL, Ducati multimedia system, dual-channel Bosch cornering ABS, and Kaiba suspension front and rear. For some reason, the new Icon Dark is launched with a $700 lower price, which makes it the most affordable Scrambler 800 in Ducati's range. Bullet Blue Rock 125 Bullet Motorcycles is a comparatively young Belgian brand that was established by two motorcycle enthusiasts and best friends in 2013. Currently, the company range includes four small displacement models, but starting from mid-2020, Bullet is adding another one, a retro-style scrambler named Blue Rock. The model has classic British styling and comes powered by 125cc air-cooled four-stroke that produces just 11 horses and is linked to a 5-speed gearbox. The suspension setup is represented by upside-down forks up front and a regular double shock absorber, though we still do not know whether it is adjustable or fixed. The customers can choose between three stunning color schemes – British Green, Titanium Grey and Gold Black. In addition, the model has already been announced to get a 250cc V2 version. Harold Brett 125 For the past 10 years, the British Harold Motorcycle Company has been known for importing classic-style motorcycles, but starting from 2019, they are trying to reinvent themselves, producing the first in-house built bike, called the Brute 500. This year, the brand adds yet another homemade model in the 125cc segment. The bike is built around a single-cylinder four-stroke engine and is aimed at new riders and learners, who hold the UK A1 license. The bike's rugged looks are matched by the standard equipment that includes a monoshock rear suspension, premium stainless steel exhaust, and trail-ready tires. The Brett gets you a 24-month RAC breakdown coverage, scores standard digital dashboard, all LED lighting with a large 7-inch round headlight and three exterior color schemes – military green, iron gray, and copper. What are your thoughts about the modern scramblers? Which of the models takes the number one spot on your favorites list? Share your opinion in the comment section below. Explore other 2020 motorcycle lineups by following the links on the screen and click the subscribe button not to miss the upcoming episodes. Like, share, and as always, may the torque be with you!